welcome to Monday at the Millionaire Show. That's right. Hey, we're on Monday nights now along with Monday Night Football. And here to kick off our new season, we have 10 amazing athletes ready to tackle that hot seat and go for $1 million. So let's meet the all-star lineup for our sports superstars edition of a once to be a millionaire. First up, one of the all-time great NFL quarterbacks, a league MVP and three-time Super Bowl champion, 49er Steve Young. He's the MVP catcher from the big red machine with two World Series rings. Here's Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. She's a major force in women's boxing. Her father, the greatest, she be stinging. Layla Ali. He's won two Australian Opens, two French Opens, and he was the number one tennis player in the world, Jim Courier. He dominates the sport of racing, one of NASCAR's 50 all-time greatest drivers, three-time Winston Cup champ, Jeff Gordon. One of ESPN's 20 greatest athletes of the century. She owns more tennis titles than anyone else ever. Martina Navratilova. This Bronco is a two-time Super Bowl champ, NFL League MVP, John Elway. He fought skateboarding on the map by winning every single pro skating championship over 10 years. Tony Hawk, one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, an original Dream Team member, 11-time All-Star, Charles Barkley. He's one of the fastest men on the planet, winner of 10 Olympic medals, nine of them gold, Carl Lewis. And here they are, the 10 sports superstars who will take their shot in the hot seat for $1 million. Welcome, everybody. Great to have you all here. Look at all these great athletes. Absolutely fabulous. Charles, you're looking pretty spiffy there in your blue shirt. Thank you. You miss basketball at all? I miss playing a lot. Yeah. But it was a good ride for me. You 16 years. Yeah. Nobody had it better than you. We'll see how good you are in that hot seat in a minute. <laughs> and there's Jeff Gordon. How you doing, hey, Jeff? Hey, Sarah. I'm great. Congratulations. You're having a good year, huh? Not bad. Any speeding tickets getting here? <laughs> no, no, but maybe here on the fastest finger. No, that's it. You got the fastest finger. That's what you all got to worry about right now. Remember, it's all for charity, so our athletes are allowed to assist each other until $32,000. After that, you know the story. The lights go down. It's one-on-one -on -one with that hot seat. Okay, everybody, here we go. Sports fans, start your engines. Here comes our first fastest finger question. Put these baseball movies in order by their first theatrical release, starting with the most recent. The Natural, The Love of the Game, A League of Their Own, The Bad News Bads. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent film, and it was The Love of the Game. And then a league of their own, and then the natural, and finally the bad news bears. That's the right order. Let's see you got it right on the fastest time. The winner is Carl Lewis. Johnny Bench. How in the world did you beat Johnny Bench with that one? Huh? That is a very good question. <laughs> Unbeknownst even to me. <laughs> anyway, great to have you here, uh, Carl. Uh, what charity are we playing for? Um, Wendy Marks Foundation for Organ Donor Awareness. Oh, organ Donor Awareness. Absolutely. Very important. And how have you been these days? Good, good. Years Busy. Ago, years ago, I inter interviewed you in Los Angeles, and you said, after it's all over with the running career, I want to be an actor. And you're, and you're still in that. That's exactly. I moved to Los Angeles, focused on an acting career. Mm -hmm. just, just wrapped up on a film. And no kidding. A, a, a few more, you know that is. Good for you. Absolutely. That's, that's terrific. All right, fine. Well, let's see how you well you do here now. Okay. Have you ever wanted to compete with your favorite athlete? Well, now here's your chance. Log on to abc.com and play our enhanced TV game. Carl, you know the rules, you know the lifelines. You get 
15 uh, questions away from winning $1 million for your charity. And to help you win, you have three lifelines, 50-50. You can ask the audience and you can phone a friend. All right, Carly, you all set? You ready? I'm ready. Audience, are you ready? Yeah, we're all ready. Let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Carl Lewis. Okay, fastest man in the world. Check it out for $100. Here it comes. In which of these sports do players hit the ball with top spin? Football, bowling, tennis, Greco-Roman wrestling. Okay, um, I'm sure I don't do it in wrestling. Top spin, so I'd have to say C, the tennis. And you're right, it's tennis for $100. There it is, Carl, for $200. Which of these products is meant to quench thirst? Gatorade? Tide, <laughs> Bounty, <laughs> Cup of Sand. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're thinking about my past. That's why that sand is in there. Okay. Um, I, this is, this, I have to say A. Yeah, you're right. Gatorade, sure. $200. Well, it's easy so far. <laughs> so far, it's easy. Carl Lewis going for $300. What body part's name is also an adjective, meaning stylish or trendy? Hip, shin, nerve, your Tommy <laughs> Hill finger. Uh, let's say hip, A. Yes, hip, you won 300, Carl. $500, come it up. A layup is a type of shot made by players in what sport? Ping pong, hockey, <laughs> basketball, archery. Um, I'd have to say Really go out on a limb on this one. <laughs> it's a basketball. Yes, sir. One five dollars in the house. One thousand dollars. Which of these musical instruments is normally played with a mallet, a harp, a gong, viola, a clarinet? <laughs> um. Let me see. Um, B. Um, way to go, Carl. <laughs> yeah. You say final answer, Carl? Yeah, final answer. Yeah, he's got it right for $1,000. All right, we got Carl Lewis in the CD. One of thousand. We'll be back in a moment when he goes for $2,000. All righty, baby. Can do with his step with regards to this win, and here he comes. And he's running down in tandem with a steeple chase runner going to the finish. But he blocks him out in his jump, and the crowd responds to that after at about the eight and a half yeah, meter mark. Yeah, that was Carl Lewis back in 1984 in the Olympic Games in Los Angeles, and they almost ran out of uh, out of uh, ran, ran out of pit. <laughs> Boy, you were terrific, absolutely great. So now, but you come from a family of runners, right? Your yeah. mom and dad were involved in track. Yeah, they're both uh, athletes and coaches. My mother was an Olympian. Mm -hmm. And uh, she won't let me tell the year, though. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, she was an Olympian. My father, they were both coaches. And that's how we got started in sports Sure. Um, through them. And your idol was uh, Jesse Owens? The yep, great... I was a big idol of Jesse Owens. And, Boy, was... and you met him as a kid, right? I was able to meet him. Yep, and he really inspired me. And actually, this is, this is a funny story. He told me things about the sport, and what it really inspired me was more about history, mm -hmm. because I wanted to go back and see what he did as an athlete and what he did growing up. So it really inspired me to read more about history. And you were about nine years old, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, nine years old. And so then a few years later, maybe, what, 10 or 11 years later, you actually tied one of his going, records. Exactly, going back after his thing, because um, that was like in the early 70s, and then um, in the 84, I had a chance to tie his record. Boy, sensational so. career, Carl. Just retired, what? Three or four years ago? Yep, three, mm. two, almost four years ago. All right, well, now you're in, in the track here. You're running pretty well, too. <laughs> You've won $1,000. We're going for $2,000. let us play with Carl Lewis. $2,000. For over 10 years, the fabric of our lives has been the advertising slogan for what industry? Cotton, wool, silk, polyester. Um, hey, cotton. Hey, cotton. Hey, cotton. Final? Final. Got it for $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Here it comes for 4,000. Which of these athletes was not an Olympic gymnast? <laughs> Olga Corbett, Michelle Kwan, <laughs> Kerry Strug, Mary Lou Retton. Okay, I can get that one. <laughs> um, B, Michelle Kwan. Final answer? Final. He's got $4,000. For $8,000, here we go. <laughs> 8000 Carl. What is the catchphrase of the cartoon character Fat Albert? Outrageous. Oh, no, you didn't. We're out of here. Hey, hey, hey. There we are. OK, it's D. Final answer. Final. Yes, Carl. Hey, hey, hey. Seven away from one million, going for 16,000. Which of these dog breeds is commonly used as a sled dog? Great Dane, Siberian Husky, Greyhound, German Shepherd. <laughs> it's not a Greyhound. <laughs> um, the Siberian Husky. Final answer? Final. He's right, Siberian Husky. Carl Lewis going for $32,000. Who is the NFL's official all-time leader in quarterback sacks? Reggie White, Dick Butkus, Mark Gastineau, Bruce Smith. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna turn around. I think I know who this is, but I'm gonna ask the guys who've been sacked by him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's A, who do y'all say? Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> I promise you, it is A. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go with A, Reggie White. Make it your final answer? Yes. Yeah, it's Reggie White for 32000 I must say, Carl, you didn't need much help at all, but uh -oh. now they're all going away. We fade to black, and it's just you and me in the hot seat. <laughs> and $64,000, but you still have three lifelines. Here it is. Lawrence of Arabia was an officer in what army? Turkish, German, British, United States. I would say... I know it's not... Germany, United States. You saw the movie, right? Lawrence of Arabia? C. You C? British? Final? C. I guess you mean yes. Yes. <laughs> and you're right for $64,000. Good. Lights went down. I'm like, ah. Okay. I know you're all alone. Well, here it is for $125,000. In the 1989 movie, Field of Dreams, what baseball player is the first to appear in the cornfield? Chick Gandell, Lefty Williams, Ty Cobb, Shoeless Joe Jackson. All right, audience, we need some help for Carl. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 87% think it's Shoeless Joe. I'll go with D. Final answer. It's final. They're right, you're right, for 100. He's gonna go for a quarter million. <laughs> Carl Lewis, one of the greatest yeah. track stars ever in our hot seat right now and has won $125,000 and going for 
a quarter million dollars. And incidentally, your companion today is Jeffrey Marks. Nice to have you, Jeffrey. Great to be here. He's written two biographies on you. Mm -hmm. And are you the brother of the sister whose uh, charity this is named for? I am. Carl's involvement with the Wendy Marks Foundation started with my sister, Wendy, who her life was saved by a liver transplant in 1989. Oh. And she was in a coma for a while, and Carl was with us the whole time in the hospital. So it's really quite a story that he's been involved with. Wow, so you've been friends for a long time then, yeah. huh? Right. Tell us one thing about Carl Lewis we don't know. Well, everyone thinks of him as this great athlete, but I really think of him first as the people, the person who was in that hospital with us, sleeping on the floor in the hospital room, making commitment to organ donation right then. And he's been more involved in this issue nationally and internationally than anyone else in the world the last 12 years. So That's uh, terrific, Carl. Good for you. That's good, Jeffrey. Nice story. And Carl has a, a new uh, made-for-TV movie coming out in the spring called Atomic Twister. Yeah. And what, who do you play? I play a, a security guard. Yeah. And, um, you know, the first, like, part I get, I get taken out by the twister and was crazy. I couldn't outrun it. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. They would, they, yeah, it's like, like they really thought of this when they wrote it. But, uh, yeah. I, so it doesn't matter how fast you are, you can't outrun You can't outrun it, even if you did win nine <laughs> gold medals in the Olympics, huh? That twist you didn't care. No. <laughs> That's a cute twist on a story. All right, you won 125. Now, should you miss here, you're going to lose 93,000. But here we go. We're three away from a million, Carl. We're playing for 250,000. Let's play. <laughs> Carl, on the Domino's Pizza logo, the three dots on the Domino tile represent what? Three original toppings. Three original stores, three founders, Rome, Sicily, and Naples. Those three dots. Wow. Um. Uh. Narrow it down yeah. by two? Sure, yeah. let's do that. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, please. Well, it's either three original stores or three founders. Domino's Pizza. Anybody on your phone friend list might possibly know this? I, I, I would say if they started, I wouldn't think they'd start with three stores. Make more sense to start with three founders. I mean, you don't start with three stores. Mm -hmm. So I would say I would say C. All right. Just again, you know, you lose ninety-three thousand if you're wrong. What do you want to do? say C. You want to say C? Three founders. I want to make it your final answer? That's my final answer. No, believe it or not, it's three original scores. Uh, uh, 32,000, Carl. Okay. Come on. Great. That's good. So Thank good you. to have you. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Sweet guy. Tough question, but $32,000 is still a lot of money for the Wendy Marks Foundation. All right, everybody, let's find out who will be next in the hot seat. Here is our second fastest finger question of the night. Put these sports teams in geographic order by their home city starting in the west. 
Denver Broncos, Cincinnati Reds, San Francisco 49ers, Philadelphia 76ers. Oh. Time's up. Let's see the answer now in the correct order, starting in the West, and it is the San Francisco 49ers. And then the Broncos in Denver, and Cincinnati Reds, and finally, Philadelphia 76ers. That's it. The right order. Let's see who got it right. Best the time winner is... Derek. Steve Young. Steve Young, 70. <laughs> it's kind of a cheat. 49 kind of the first couple. I guessed on the last two. Did you really? Yeah. You guessed on the last two. <laughs> but you got it. What are you laughing at, Charles? Well, Charles is worried. Johnny got him all right in rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Bench threw up his hand, said, That's it. I saw he'd pressed something wrong over there. And John Elway came in second, the quarterback, Ooh. see? Quarterbacks. Well, we're working hard to dispel some stereotypes. What are you doing these <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing these days? Oh man, well I had a new baby. My wife and I, uh, we got a seven month old. That's a tremendous challenge and a lot of fun. Uh -huh. So I'm up at late quite a bit. I get oh. the sleep deprivation going. Uh -huh. So it sure. should really help me uh, think back to some of this trivia about And that. professionally, and, uh, are you through with football altogether? Yeah, through with football. Uh, I'm gonna do a little work this fall for ESPN and talk about, if you can't play football, maybe you can talk about it. That's sure. fun. And then uh, working with the Olympics. Uh, oh, yeah. The Salt Lake Olympics next year with the volunteer program. I'm kind of the the leader of the 30,000 volunteers. So we got Good a big army out there doing it. So it's great. That's great. All right, well, we're glad you're here. Now, uh, you know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. Let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. Okay, Steve, here it is for $100. Classmates commonly write messages to each other in which of these books? Yearbook, diary, telephone book, therapy sign-in sheet. Well, nowadays, it's, it, it could be D, but uh, I'm going to say that I used to write a little message to everybody in their yearbook. Yearbook it is for $100. Steve Young going for $200. In which of these pro sports does an umpire sit in a high chair alongside the playing surface? In soccer, baseball, tennis, competitive tiddlywinks. I say tennis. Tennis it is for $200. Got it. $300 right now. A surge protector is most likely to be connected to which of the following? Walkman, computer, bicycle, small children. Uh, well, we think some funny answers here, but I think it's B, computer. Computer's right. 300. Steve, going for $500. When a man rents a tuxedo, which of these measurements is usually not taken? Sleeve length, chest size, waist size, head size. Well, uh, unless he's going to wear the helmet to the uh, to the wedding, I'd say it's head size D. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he got five hundred dollars. He got that right. <laughs> Steve Young going for a thousand. In the comic strip Peanuts, what does Lucy do when Charlie Brown tries to kick a football? Pulls it away, tackles him, yells boo, closes her eyes. Well. I'm feeling like uh, that she pulls it away, so... Yeah. Mm. Johnny? <laughs> our uh, our esteemed one colleague, break. Johnny Bench, says A, so I'll say A. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, she pulls it away for a thousand dollars. All right, see, we go for $2,000. Take a look. Golfers are most likely to call out the warning for after doing what? Making a hole in one, hitting the golf ball, missing the golf ball, landing in a sand trap. I have a lot of experience with this one as well as John Elway. So, uh, in fact, I've played with John and he yelled for quite a bit. What about Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Although Charles is worse, so. <laughs> I'd say hitting a golf ball. Hitting a golf ball, final answer. Uh, yes. Yes, you won $2,000.
He's up to 4,000. By definition, a molting bird is doing what? Hibernating, migrating, shedding feathers, feeding its young. I think a molting bird is probably shedding his feathers. Yeah? Want to make it your final answer? Sure. Let me just check here and make a little yeah. poll real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, Martina says yes, so I'd say shedding feathers C. Final. final. Yes, $4,000. You got it. All right, Ding Young in the hot seat and going to $8,000 when we come back. following Super Bowl 29. Must have been a big thrill, huh? Oh, yeah, especially when uh, San Francisco had won so many Super Bowls. It was kind of the, the way that you proved yourself in many ways was winning a Super Bowl, so it was a wonderful feeling. Sure. What charity are we playing for today, Steve? Today we're playing for the Forever Young Foundation, a foundation I started uh, 15 years ago, uh, essentially raising money for great groups in the community to help kids. Help kids, good. And there's your wife behind you. Hi, Bob. Hi. How you doing? Nice good. to see you. Thank you. How long have you been married now? Uh, 16 months. 16 months? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a year. It's a year and four months. A year and four months. <laughs> Hundred dollars I just won. <laughs> and how did he propose to you? Oh, he took me to the highest mountain in Utah, and he said, this is the highest mountain, and it's the highest that a man can go by himself, and I'm wondering if you will take me the rest of the way. Oh. <laughs> where, where, how romantic. Well, that's... Sir Charles, how do you feel about that little speech he made? Sappy, sappy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, you won $4,000. let us get back to it. Here it comes for $8,000, Steve. Let's play. Okay, Steve, a common variety of what fruit was named after Valencia, Spain? Orange, banana, grape, cherry. Pretty Named sure. after Valencia, Spain. Pretty sure, it's, pretty sure it's orange, but I... Aren't you glad you said that? Yeah, I guess uh, I am glad I said that. Orange, orange, orange. sure. I, I, hey. Want to make it your final answer? Sure. And you're right for $8,000. Sixteen thousand coming up. <clears throat> what adjective is the title of a 2001 top ten Billboard single by Aerosmith? Satisfied, dazed, jaded, concerned. It's not concerned. It's not dazed. I, I think it's jaded. <laughs> Of course it's jaded. I've been listening to the radio. Come on, Regis. Yeah. <laughs> you know your arrows. Well, I'm trying to stretch, stretch here. <laughs> so you want to make C your final answer? Yeah, jaded. Hey, it's the right answer. You won. $16,000. Here it comes, $32,000. What Soviet Union premier instituted the policy of Glasnost? Leonid Brezhnev, Nikita Khrushchev, Boris Yeltsin, Mikhail Gorbachev. Well, we know it's not A or B. They're pretty rough guys. Um, Glasnost is a nice word. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, that it was Mikhail Gorbachev. Let me just check with my uh, associates. <laughs> Correct, sir. Uh, I think that's probably a pretty good answer, D. All right, D, final answer. Yeah. Right, Steve, for $32,000. gone. The linemen, the associates, they're all gone. I, I like those guys. It's too bad. And you're just five away from a million, Steve, and here it is, $64,000. By definition, a crucible is a vessel that can withstand what? High temperatures, 
Intense pressure. Strong acids. Sharp edges. Ah, uh, crucible's famous for intense pressure, I believe. A vessel that can have high temperatures. If I blow it here, we just uh, friends. When well, you have happen. the lifelines, if yeah. you're not altogether sure. Yeah, but when you know, crucible is a, it's it's a it's a famous metaphor, right? Right, Regis? <laughs> there I was on Mount Baldy. Take me further. Okay, high temperatures, crucible, intense pressure. I really believe that uh, a crucible is a metaphor for intense pressure, so I'll say it's a vessel for intense pressure. Final answer. Yeah. No, it was high temperature. Oh. Oh. Too bad, Steve Vereen. High temperature. <laughs> 32,000, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, crucible, much like our hot seat, can withstand high temperatures and high pressure, too. All right, Tony Hawk, did you know that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you know any of them? Yeah. Yeah, sure you did. All right, that was kind of a tricky one, you know? But anyway, the hot seat now getting cold, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these playing surfaces in order by their standard area, starting with the smallest. Ping pong table, basketball court, boxing ring, football field. <laughs> Johnny Bench having too much trouble with this. Time's up, everybody. Here's the final answer in the correct order, starting with the smallest ping pong table, and then the boxing ring, and then basketball court, finally football field. Let's see who got this one right on the fastest time. Winner is... Good for you, baby. Good for you. We'll be right back. See how Martina does in just a moment. back in Wimbledon in 1978. Won more titles than any other woman in, in tennis history. Yes. How many altogether? Do you remember? Um, 168. No kidding. Singles. Wow, that's And 165 doubles. Was it, uh, was it tough to retire? Well, I'm still playing doubles. You're still so playing I'm doubles, keeping yeah. keeping up up there. Yeah, trying to pretend I'm still young. Yeah. <laughs> and good. <laughs> Who, uh, what charity are we playing for today? We're playing for Save the Rhino. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know the founder of it uh, started in England, and uh, now they're back in the States as well, trying to Are they money. making any progress in saving the rhino? Well, there's nine different species and a couple of them are really on the brink of extinction, so yeah. uh, we're trying to, uh, you know, help them out. It's too bad. And yeah. your companion is with you, Pam Dedarian. Nice to see you, Pam. Hi. She also runs her own foundation, right? And one you're, you're associated with. Yes, her. we started the uh, Rainbow Card, which is a uh, uh, credit card that uh, gives money to... Uh, gay and lesbian causes around the country through Terrific. the Rainbow Foundation. Yeah. Well, you got a lot going on in your yep, life. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, Martina, it's great to have you here. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Why don't we do it? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Martina Navratilova right now. Here we go for $100. Who wants to be a millionaire? A restaurant where a patron can order from his car is called a what? Carport, drive through wheeler, dealer, <laughs> cheapest data. <laughs> I do know this one. That's a B. A B. Right. Final answer? Yes. Drive through the right answer for $100. Martina, going for $200. In which of these sports do participants spar? Cycling, bowling, boxing, first marriage. <laughs> well, a lot of times it's, the, it's D, but I, I think she's sitting right behind me. I'll be very nice to her, Layla. Yeah. I think it's C, boxing. Final? Final. Boxing it is for $200. $300 coming up. 
someone is most likely to say mum's the word after doing what? Singing a song, making a wish, telling a secret, visiting the queen mother. <laughs> Uh, that would be C, telling a secret. Yes, of course, telling a secret. What's the word? $500. In sports lingo, OT stands for which of the following? Old timers, overtime, on top, out of touch. Well, we're a bunch of out of touch old timers sitting here, but uh, <laughs> I think it would be. <laughs> but we were on top. But once. we were on, on time, top. and it is OT overtime. B, final answer. And you're right for five hundred dollars. Very good, Martin. <laughs> Going for one thousand dollars. What professional can be disbarred for <laughs> illegal behavior? Doctor, accountant, attorney, architect. You know what's? Uh, never mind. I won't tell the joke. It's a lawyer, attorney, number C. <laughs> final answer. Final answer. Yes, for a thousand dollars. going for $2,000. Here it comes. In what sport do players rotate one position after a change of serve? Uh, Hockey, soccer, lacrosse, volleyball. Well, it's the one sport I never really tried. I wasn't any good at. It's volleyball. D. Final. I didn't want to hurt my fingers. Yes. Yes, volleyball. You're right. $2,000. He's up to $4,000. Which of these animals is terrestrial? A wolf, squid, <laughs> salmon, whale? Well, gee, terrestrial is ground, so I don't think any of those three are very good on the ground, so there'll be wolf, number A. Final number answer? A, letter A, hello. Final? Final answer. Wolf. Yes, you're right, the wolf. <laughs> Tina on a roll right now. Here it is well, for eight help pretty soon here. thousand dollars. Before starting his solo career, Sting was a member of what bank? I got no you. idea. I got you. You two, the you. Kinks, the Kinks, the Police, oh, I the Who. It was the Police. Wee wee wee. I didn't know that one. Yes, it's C, the Police. Final answer. Police. Yes. Yes, the Police is right for eight thousand dollars. dollars coming up. In the movie Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler brawls on the it. golf course with what game <laughs> show host? Alex Trebek, Tom Bergeron, Pat Sajak, Bob Barker. Pop. <laughs> I thought Pop. that was you. No, no. You didn't, you didn't do the show. Bob Barker. D. I guess it's D. Bob Fine. Barker. And Final answer. Yeah, you're right, Bob Barker. <laughs> When we come back. These guys, these guys are good. You know all the answers. Martina Navratilova and her Wimbledon trophies over the years. And I should have said earlier that uh, you have won more uh, titles than any man or woman in, in tennis. Good for you. And you have a little thing in your hand right there. That's your good luck charm that you took Eddie. with you to all of these tournaments. Yeah, right? actually, Eddie belongs to Pam. She got him uh, as a stocking stuffer 25 years ago from her grandmother uh -huh. for Christmas. His name is Eddie Rashad Bolari. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because uh, Ahmad Rashad was his hero. All right, good. And he's got stuff from all around the world. He's got some Maasai beads from Kenya. And this, he, got, he got a little drunk in Dallas, so he got an ear spear. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> so, things ha things so, like that happen, know. sure. Yeah. I didn't know this, but uh, Martina Navratilova, I mean, she's got lots of interests. Snowboarding, skiing, golfing, basketball, riding horses, riding motorcycles. Went from Florida to her home in Aspen, Colorado on a Harley. Yep, see, and Eddie got a feather for that. And he's he, with he you every inch of the way. Me, yeah. 
Well, maybe you give them to Charles Barkley after you threw him. I think he's he a very good good luck charm. Uh, Monica Seles had him in her bag when she first came back after the stabbing. No kidding. He's well, been all around, all over the place. Well, yeah. let's see if he can it's take you job. to a million dollars, all right? So, Charles, this guy's yours. He looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like you, Charles. He might get a tattoo on the back of his head once. Yeah. <laughs> We're going for $32,000, Martina. Let's play. Here we go. $32,000. Basmati <clears throat> and jasmine are varieties of what food? Yogurt, rice, tomato, peas. Well, I do love to eat. That's one of the reasons I play tennis, so I can eat as much as I want to. Okay. And it's B, rice. Final? Yep, final. It's rice for $32,000. Incidentally, cheering you on, they've returned. Uh, the Steve Young and Carl Lewis, nice to have you guys with us in the <laughs> audience. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Crucible himself sitting by the <laughs> I can take the pressure, baby. Oh, boy. 64,000, Martina, here it comes. King Henry VIII of England had how many wives? Four, six, eight, ten. Well, actually, I read the book, but uh, I think it's six. It wasn't eight, because that would that would be pretty obvious. You have three lifelines. Yeah, I think I'll ask the audience. See what they okay. have to say. Okay, audience, we need some help for Martina. Right, guys. If you're ready, on your keypads using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 48% feel it's six and... 30% feel it's eight. Off with their head. No, it's six. I know it's six. Six. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, it's six for 64,000. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, but we'll be back with Martina and the rest of our sports superstars from New York, everybody. Good night. Tomorrow night, John Elway, Jeff Gordon, Johnny Banks, Charles Barkley, and more join Regis for an all-new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Sports Superstars Edition, night two. Tomorrow night at 8, 7 central on ABC.